but I've already posted it. So we'll just start a new video for tomorrow. So, uh, Dad, Strength, and I are on a little rescue mission. Dad's got the 1660 buried down in the muck right now. For some reason, he headed for the wettest part of the farm first. Not sure why. So, we're going to cut an extra wide path here. Dad's already cut 20 foot. I'm going to cut another 25 foot. Dad strikes behind me with the green cart and tow rope. And we're going to see if we can get him out. We should be able to get him out. He said after he's gotten out of the combine and walked around, he realized that there's a lot of water around him. Huh, imagine that. So we'll get down here and uh, we'll get hooked up to him. But these are some beautiful beans. I wish my camera was going to shake them so much. Well, these are definitely some nice beans, so let me adjust the camera a little bit. Ah, uh, we can see them now. Now we're on the sand hill now. These aren't that great. Bumper up to five miles an hour. Full send on the sand hills.
give him a stern talking to to get out of the mud. Good morning, everybody. So it's a beautiful Sunday morning we got going on. Breezy. It is the next day after Dad got stuck. We're going to go down here and uh, see if I can cut some more of these beans. After he got stuck shortly after we uh, quit for the night. We'll see if I can get through it. I should be able to. There's water in the tracks. Eh, we're going right through it though. I don't think we'll get it all, but we'll make it I think I'm going to have to find the bean head for the uh, new gleaner, uh, the one that's going to be on tracks. Probably find like a 15 or 20 foot head for it. There's where Dad got stuck last night. I cut up beside there. I know for a fact that that uh, combine, the header control, don't work because uh, when we got it running just for uh, just for fun, I uh, turned the automatic header control on and I put I clicked the head switch to the down position and the solenoid did not click inside of the uh, council over here. So that tells me that. Uh, the automatic header control is not in operation on it at this time, which does not surprise me because they put the solenoid right on the floor inside that council, and what do mice do? They decide, oh, look at that solenoid over there. We're going to go sit on top of it and pee right on top of it. I don't know why they do it, but they do it, and then they chew the wires on it. So, uh, chances are... It's all corroded from mouse pee, and it's not going to work. But I made a discovery when I bought this cleaner. I took the mount out that that solenoid sits in, and it had a number on the bottom of it. So I Googled the number, and I came up with the solenoid base. So I actually have a few on hand. So... I might be able to uh, resurrect that uh, automatic header control and make it work again. So we'll see. I was going to go get that combine this morning, but we got busy yesterday and didn't get a chance to contact the owner of it now. Well, I am the owner of it now, but the previous owner to see if we could gain access to get in the building to get it out. The last time we were there, we were going to have to move his Kinsey bean planter out of the way in order to get it out of the building. And being it's Sunday and it was late last night, I didn't want to call and bother him. So uh, we just decided that we're going to try to go get it Monday, tomorrow. We'll see what the uh, weather conditions are like in the morning. And if it's real frosty, we'll probably go get it. I can just cut these off right here and back out. Oh yeah. It's a little bit wet right there. Let's see if I can get greedy over here and see if we can cut just this this other four foot off. Oh yeah, we got them. Uh oh. Stay up here. There we go. I planted them. I'm gonna harvest them. Nice thing about cutting beans and not being able to steer is it doesn't matter because the bean head's gonna cut a path anyway. It's not like trying to stay on cornrows. As long as the header control can keep up with the combine going up and down through the ruts, you're good to go. Now on the other side of the ditch, um, we simply just did not plant where it was real super wet. The problem is, is to the south of us here is a DNR controlled lake. 
and that lake is dammed up, dammed up by DNR in, in order to form a nice lake. Well, years ago when we started farming in this area, which we own this 40 on the other side of the ditch here, we dug the ditch through this farm and we dug the ditch across the end of our 40. Well, at that time, the dam was not in to create the lake. Since then, they have fixed the dam because the dam was originally just naturally made by beavers. Since then, they fixed the dam, and now they're they're kind of uh oh, oh we got it. They're they're holding water back, and now it's back feeding our ditch. So eventually, we might have to start pumping some water and forcing some water on them. So we're gonna have to figure out something. I'm gonna try to clean the ditches again through this farm and see if that gains us anything. It might because it goes through kind of a high spot and I'm, I'm thinking there might be a little bit of obstruction through that high spot, but I think a lot of it's just the DNR is keeping the lake too high now. As you can see how high the ditch is, it never used to be that high. You can see over here how high this ditch is. So, that's something I'm going to do this winter. I'm going to bring the 200 over in the ditch bucket and do some digging. I don't really want to push my lock. I don't feel like getting stuck first thing in the morning. So we'll just leave that corner because I know for sure last last fall the mug got stuck down there with our 1660 so I know that mug's probably got an injury right there Most of the time, 10 feet, it'll get it going again on its own. 
especially if you have one on big tires because they have the same size as like these combines have on them so they'll go through some shit before they get stuck well at least that spot is cut off for the most part i only left just a little bit which i'm not going to worry too much about that what's there doesn't doesn't uh make sense to get stuck for
videos. There is a total video like 14 minutes long on how I did it. Doesn't show me doing it, but shows how I did it. So remember, go back through them. I mean, you're gonna find stuff that that you're gonna be amused with. I know a, a viewer asked me if we're gonna see me do some dirt work. Of course, you're gonna see me do some dirt work. That's part of the that's part of the title. It's dirt green and steel. So, but there are a lot of videos already on here of doing dirt work, like culvert replacements, fixing wet spots. There's all kinds of them. So I've, I've got, oh man, I think I'm pushing almost 600 some videos now. So if you sat and binge watched my channel, you'd be amazed at some of the content you'll see. So uh, make sure you go back through and check out the older stuff. Because if you haven't already, you're missing out on a lot. It's kind of strange how after I did a thousand subscribers, my videos started to take off as far as views and stuff. And before that, I was only getting a few hundred at a time per video. Well, now I look back through my older videos and uh, they're not getting very many views. And I think it's because YouTube's trying to hide them so nobody's watching them so they don't have to, uh, or so that they keep them watching my fresh videos. But. I think you need to go back and watch them and really enjoy it. So anyways, we're going to keep cutting beans today. We're going to see what we can get done. I think we've got enough video between tonight or this morning's video and last night's video once I put them together. I think it'll make a pretty good enjoyable video out of it. So anyways, if you uh, enjoy the channel, keep watching. A lot of cool stuff to come. If you're... Uh, if you're new to watching, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that. So, uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Have a wonderful Sunday, the rest of your Sunday, and have a safe work week coming up.